Hello guys, today I want to show you a new Laravel package called Laravel Taxonomy. And if you're not familiar with the word taxonomy, probably more familiar words are categories and tags. So I will show you a demo project and the code of demo project, which looks like this. So typical blog, but the main thing is not about the list of posts, but those categories and tags, both for every post individually or in general for the sidebar, including the hierarchical structure of tree of categories or tag cloud. It's called tag cloud. And then if you go into individual article, you will also see the list of categories and tags by that article and also even related posts, again, by categories or tags. And historically, that word taxonomy to me personally is more familiar from WordPress world. I worked with WordPress back in the day, like 10 years ago, and I do remember the database table names like WP term taxonomy, which is also a similar use case for categories and tags in WordPress. So let's dive into the code and I will show you how this package works. First, let me show you the homepage, how it shows the data for tags and categories, and then I will show you the seeder of how it all is saved in the database. So in the rows, we have just simple two pages, post controller index and show. And then in the index, we have something like this post with taxonomies. And that post model also has a trait use has taxonomy, which actually adds that functionality. Of course, this comes after composer require and installation of the package. And then what it allows you to do is have features like query with taxonomy hierarchy by category ID, because categories are like a tree with parent ID, and there may be multiple categories inside of each category. So you can find taxonomy by slug with taxonomy type. So category is one taxonomy type. And then another taxonomy type is tag. This is enum from the package, by the way. These are the taxonomy types suggested by the package, but probably not limited only to those. So yeah, you can query the posts with hierarchy for categories and with tags, we just want posts by tag, which don't have any hierarchy. Also for the sidebar, you can load taxonomy tree and for tags, taxonomy by type, which visually in the sidebar, again, you saw that already looks like this. So this is a tree of taxonomies and this is the list. So in that post index blade on the sidebar, if we scroll a bit down, we have categories and then we have category children. So in this case, we have two levels of categories and then tags, we have just a regular for each. And then not sure if you saw that for posts, for each of the posts on the main, actually I'll close the sidebar, on the main list we have for each of another useful method, taxonomies of type. So for each eloquent model, you can query taxonomies of type category or taxonomies of type tag. And then in the show method, we have this get related posts, which again calls taxonomies of type by tags, and then another query of post with another useful method with any taxonomies by array or collection, not sure, array it is. And this is all based on this structure in the database. We have post table, which doesn't have any taxonomies, it's just title and excerpt and description and timestamps and slug. Then we have taxonomies with this structure. So type, as you saw, category and then parent ID. So these are parent categories and then inside of each parent, there may be one or more children. And also these columns like left and right and depth, these are so-called nested sets from what I remember, which allow to query the tree of categories with better performance. And for tags, it's just a list of tags without any parent IDs. So this is the database. And then from another side, how do we see that database? Here's database seeder. You can create taxonomy. Those are, by the way, models from the package. So I didn't have to create any models manually. I just had to run the migration from the model after publishing from the package, I mean. And then I create taxonomy with category using that enum. In this case, I'm using parent ID. So you can create as many taxonomies as you want. And also for tags, it's even easier. Taxonomy create with type without any parent ID or order. And then for posts, one of the ways to see that is just to populate the array with categories. For example, in the array, in this case, we have IDs of categories. And for tags, as you can see, we have names of tags, not the IDs. 
And then at the end, with for each of those posts array, first we create the post and then for each post, another useful method for attaching the taxonomies here. So here we have IDs of taxonomies already prepared. And for tags, we need to query the taxonomies by their names. And again, attach taxonomies by array of IDs. So here's how the data is saved to the database. And in general, that package has quite a long readme, so you can read about more functionalities like term ordering, which I didn't show in this case, advanced querying, nested set features, which I partially showed, at least for the tree, and a few more things. So you can read again about all of that. Some of them are configurable, the configuration of table names and relationships and types and a lot more. So there's the quick start, which I actually used for this demo project and basic usage, probably similar to what I've showed you just a minute ago. So I will link the package in the description below and you can read the readme in full. What do you think? Would you use that package? I think it's pretty powerful. Or do you have any other alternatives to suggest? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.